Hey guys, it's now Kemboy, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can create a budget in JavaFX at FXML. So, and you can see, I have a, a simple budget here, and I'm comparing the milk amount, the daily milk production, uh, uh, the daily milk performance between uh, four countries, that is Uganda, Kenya, Malaysia, and Tanzania. And uh, I, I, you can see, the, uh, from this, this, this is just an example, so from our example, uh, Uganda performs uh, lowest, and then Kenya and Malaysia, uh, daily production is equal and Tanzania has the highest production uh, in our budget. So I'll teach you how can do this in JavaFX and FXML. So right away, let us create a new project. So I'll create a, a new project. So JavaFX, JavaFX, FXML application. Select next, then type in the name of our project. So I'll just call it uh, budget. So budget and finish. So uh, most of the backend uh, for budget is more sim similar to uh, line charts. So once you do that now, uh, let us open our FXML file and uh, design our interface first because before we come and, and do some codes, some Java codes. So uh, the FXML file is where we be designing our interface. So it opens in the same pillar. Can just uh, fill in the field. Then select the button on the label and uh, delete them. Uh, you don't need them. So, uh, get the, you can resize this and copy because uh, we need a very something that you can view simply. So, that's it. Uh, I think now we are good to go. Now, uh, the first thing you learn is a view box. Drag and drop the view box into the end And then you can fit, right click it and fit it to the parent. So once you do that now, uh, it is simple. Now we will need a topic, something like a topic. So I'll add a text into my viewbox uh, to display some values. So in this, I'll dra drag and drop uh, the text into here. And then I'll change the value of the text and I'll say uh, milk production. So I'm comparing the milk production, daily milk production between four countries. And I also uh, enter with the font uh, because uh, we need something that is more big and uh, something that we can read. I will black and I'll increase the font size to something like 41. And after doing that, I'll come back and select this view box and uh, align everything to the top center. Uh, that's it. And then after doing that, uh, we need a pen. And as, uh, uh, for me, uh, using pens. Uh, to add uh, the charts into a pen is the best way for me. So I'll add this pen into the view box. Uh, the reasons why I want to use a pen uh, as a method uh, of uh, getting the milk to the charts is because uh, for, you can change from a pie chart uh, to a bar chart to a line chart using the same region without interfering with the interface. Uh, you just be coding, creating the line chart in the controller class file, then add it as a, chi it as a child to the pen. And then it uh, evades uh, the errors that come uh, with duplicate series being added in the same line graph. I know there's a, just a shorter way of just adding charts just directly from the scene builder into the application. But it comes with uh, a lot of errors. And uh, for me, be the best practice is just adding a pen first and then giving this pen an ID. So I'll come to the code here and then I'll give this pen some ID and I'll call it pen view. So uh, for anyone uh, who is watching this video, I will encourage you always to use this style of uh, using pens because we we'll talk later. Then after doing that, uh, the FXML file, just right click it and make the controller. Uh, now delete this label and then also delete this method because we no longer need it. And now we'll create a new method. So we'll call uh, a new method and then call private load data. So private load data into brackets. I will call uh, type in uh, private void load data because it has no root. So these are declare methods. And then now, uh, first the first thing I'll be doing, I'll be teaching you now. Uh, uh, I will be clearing anything that is inside our pen. So pen view 
dead children to bracket. Then after doing that, now uh, we will create some. Uh, the, from for the x-axis, I'll just be adding a category axis. So category axis, where you'll be adding the countries. So category axis. I'll be creating the x-axis. So I'll uh, add a category axis and then name it category uh, x-axis. And then this one equals to a new category axis. So I'll do some imports and I'll import this category axis, uh, the Java text in category axis. And then after doing that now, uh, the next thing uh, is will this will give this x axis then we'll give this x axis a level so I'll set level uh, so add some string values here and then I'll say uh, I'll just say country and then I'll do that then I'll also add the uh, uh, another now this one is a number axis because this one will be displaying and the axis is where we'll be displaying uh, the numbers of the milk production so it will be a number axis and I'll call it y axis uh, equals to a new number axis into brackets and uh, that's it uh, just do some imports and I'll import this number axis so after doing that let us give this y axis uh, some label so we we'll set the label so let us give this y axis a label and I'll say uh, amount uh, amount so that's it so after doing that now we'll create this our chart and we'll create our chart so I'll call bar chart and let us call our chart milk chart and then uh, uh, now it equals to new bar chart. So into brackets. So that's it. And then we'll do some imports. Uh, but again, here we have to put the data model. So uh, x axis. Sorry. Uh, axis y axis and then doing that you can decide even to put the, the, the format of the red light that you can take but you can just add it, uh, leave it the, this the way it is now let us give this uh, this chart some title so we'll set the title and uh, we'll set the title uh, I'll say daily mini production production So that's it, and then after doing that, now let us go to the next thing, and then we'll be creating some series. So uh, for bar charts, we I introduced you to this series. So series is like uh, an array or like in the observable list uh, array, where this way we'll be adding some values, uh, some data, and this data will be rendered into the chart. So you, for charts, you'll be using uh, for this bar chart, you'll be using this series. Uh, it's called the XY chart series. So this one is for, for supplying data into the budget. So it's the XY chart series. So I'll name this uh, variable series just series. And then now this one is equal to new X, Y, uh, X, Y chart series. And then uh, call, so I'll do some imports here. Then after doing that now, let us give this series a name, uh, some identity. So I'll give set the name. So into string variables and I'll say, uh, let us let name this uh, series and I'll say milk amounts. And then after doing that, now let us add the values into the series. So first of all, series, I'll 
get data and then add new x y chart so into brackets now first of all before the brackets you just put the grep, uh, these signs and then into brackets now i'll add the values so the first one will be a string the name of the country so i will uh, displaying uh, milk production uh, between four, uh, four countries uganda and then uh, let me set the value maybe they produce daily that is thousand least uh, liters of milk after doing that now you can now copy this and paste it four times at least so that you can compare four countries and then after doing that we'll be just telling the value so for kenya it's different kenya then we have malaysia then we have tanzania so after doing that now here we'll change the value 60 so for kenya and malaysia we'll give it a tie and then for tanzania we'll give it uh, some, something good and then now after doing that let us add uh, this series into the into the chart so our uh, chart called milk chart then here you get data then search rather add uh, series so that's it and then after adding that and now you add this uh, this uh, chart into the pen view now this is how you add the chart into the pen view now pen view dot get children you add it as a child to the pen view remember we cleared everything inside the pen view so if you have uh, you added anything to the pen view pen view you don't have to worry so uh, get children then you set sorry rather than set you add a node so our node is milk chart So now I think you're good to go. Just call this method and paste it here so that it can be initialized at the start of application. So if you want any method to be to run at the start of any application, just paste it here public void initialize because this overrides and this is where it all begins. So just build the application. Then once uh, So yeah, let us allow our application to to be successfully built. Now the, it has been successfully built. We run the file. So here we go, and you can see we have our milk amounts and uh, the the name of our series, uh, the label of uh, our and take you through this code uh, in relation to what we are seeing here. So first of all, we cleared anything that was, was inside the paint that was this, below this uh, milk production uh, text. And then we created a category axis, X axis, and we gave it a label country, this one. So this is the category axis. And then uh, we created a number axis, this one, that uh, holds these values from uh, 0 to 100,000. And this one, we gave it a label amounts. And then now we created a new bar chart. And this bar chart uh, takes red types of uh, X, that, uh, x axis and y axis that's why we said uh, the first data type was uganda and the second one was according to this one because we want this one to be set on the x axis and we want these values to be set on the y axis so uh, in this format is how we will be adding the data in the series because the series we just add to according to the uh, way we have designed it in this uh, bar chart and then now we get this milk chart uh, the chart we designed uh, some title uh, and then this is the title here and then now again we gave this series some name and uh, hence this main, uh, series and this uh, uh, identity here and then after doing that now we had add, we added some data into the uganda and you can see that a thousand that's the exact point here uh, for kenya and malaysia it is visibly uh, the same and for tanzania it has the highest value of ninety thousand. so that was it and then we added the series into the, uh, the chart 
and then now we added uh, the chart into the pen view as a child. So that was it about the budgets in JavaFX and FXML. Hope you learned something about these uh, applications and hope these tutorials assist you in your learning in Java, Java effects and uh, uh, that was it. Uh, that's not a boy. You can remember to subscribe uh, to this channel or just watch these videos uh, each time you are stranded with Java effects. So that was it. Thank you for watching this video.